Welcome back. A popular East Texas lake is back among the best. Yes, we're talking about Lake Fork. It cracked the top five in this year's Bassmaster Best Lakes in the U.S. Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony explains why that is in this week's Hooked on East Texas. Yes, affectionately called bucket mouths. The lure of these largemouth bass puts Lake Fork on many anglers' bucket list. Whoa. A destination to catch the fish of a lifetime. It was one of the greatest bass fisheries in the nation for many years, and then it kind of fell off for a little while, but I think that uh, the, the bass pros helped to bring it back. The AFCO Bassmaster Elite at Lake Fork. Fork fishing guide Jackie Wiggins is talking about the Bassmaster Elite Series tournament. Pros from around the country brought out Lake Fork's famed lunkers. Sixty-four bass caught that weekend weighed more than eight pounds. Century belt photo up. Every ben angler Milliken that made it to the final day Master caught more than a hundred pounds of bass and earned a century belt. An absolute hadrilla gorilla that fish ten pounds. I kind of knew after the uh, elite event in February and March, I was like this this lake's going to be easily top ten again. We'll see how far it actually lands when they break records like that. The Bassmaster list of top bass lakes in the country is out, and Lake Fork sits at a solid number five. Here's a stat that proves why Lake Fork belongs in the top five bass lakes across the country. In 2024, Lake Fork has produced 94 share lunker bass. That's any bass that weighs eight pounds or more. They caught a lot of big fish here, and they showed that it is still a great fishery. You just got to know how to catch them. There's not many lakes in our country that you can go out and catch multiple fish, say over eight pounds in a day. Again, Lake Fork, I, I expect that to almost happen for some folks any given day out of the year. And you've seen lately, some of our better guides, they're catching 35 to 40 pounds for their best five in a day consistently right now. The bigger fish are back thanks to a return of plant life to the edges of the lake. The Sabine River Authority dropped the lake level to work on the dam. East Texas pro angler Lee Livesay says the return of the grass makes all the difference. Vegetation is king, especially hydrilla. We've got hydrilla back and these fish are super healthy. They're fat. Uh, it's Lake Fork. We're the goat lake. You can look at the list of share lunkers donated over the years and Lake Fork has always been the king and always will be. Texas Parks and Wildlife meticulously manages this 27,000 acre crown jewel of Bass Lakes. Oh. Fork is considered a slot lake. Get that fish in there, Randy. All right. All right. <laughs> Meaning any fish between 16 and 24 oh, inches must be fish. safely released. 17 inches. That's a slot. We're going to turn that fish loose. That sets Lake Fork up to stay as one of the best bass lakes well into the future. So that's just giving a greater percentage of fish a greater chance to keep growing larger. We stock that lake religiously. We put close to half a million fingerlings in that lake every year. And as long as it has good shoreline habitat like we're seeing right now, the survival is great for those. The natural reproduction is phenomenal. So all those things combined, it just keeps producing and producing and producing. Another Texas lake made the Bassmaster top 10. OH Ivy, which is in West Texas, came in at number two. A dozen legacy class share lunkers weighing 13 pounds or more were caught at Ivy between January and March of this year. Savannah.